Welcome to Facts on Four, a, a monthly 10-minute show about Ward 4 and me, uh, Ward 4 counselor Susan Nicastro. And I want to wish you all a Happy New Year. And also, I sincerely hope your holidays were, were pleasant and were pleasurable and that you're rolling into 2019 with the best of intentions to have a good year. So this is that resolution, New Year resolution time of year. Um, you hear and see that a lot in the media. Well, what is a resolution? It's a firm decision to do or to not to do something. And researchers say that resolutions blow up usually within 30 days of our making them. For some reason, human beings don't like sticking to resolutions, even though we make them proudly and faithfully right around January 1st. I found, as my life continues, something called intentions. And intentions are aims or something we strive toward. And by calling something an intention, you make room for flexibility as to when and how you pursue these goals. So in the past, I've made some resolutions that I bombed terribly at. For example, dieting to become a size 8. Wrong. Um, peace on earth. I was never one to aim for the small goals. Changing the world in some positive way or returning phone calls daily or getting my thank you notes out right away. After years of failing miserably at these resolutions, I've cleaned up my act and now I try to make intentions. And some of my current personal intentions are eating less and moving more. There's some hope for that one. Peace in my home. We'll start small with the peace. Calling people back as often as I can. Um, I, in the winter months, I try to burn an apple-scented candle because the, the scent of apples is supposed to lift your spirits, and I find that works for me. My city council-related intentions for 2019 are to continue doing my best to prepare for every meeting, um, to focus my work on quality of life issues in Ward 4, and to film this monthly show, Facts on Four. So thank you for being with me. Let me continue on. But first, let me tell you that my phone number is 508-897-1314. And my email address is snacastro at cobma.us. So winter is a tough time of year to change anything. Um, and that's part of the reason why re resolutions don't stick. And we're better off going with intentions. Well, I'd like to invite you all to consider this intention in the next couple of days or weeks to get more involved in the city of Brockton. You can start small. You can get more involved on your street. You can pick up litter on a short walk. You can take in a neighbor's trash cans. You can introduce yourself to a neighbor who maybe moved in recently or not so recently that you don't know. You can talk to your neighbors, just a, a little hello and, and how are you doing. Um, you can walk somebody's dog if that's what they need. Or get more involved in your neighborhood, like organizing a neighborhood watch, which is something that my neighborhood is going to try to do in 2019. Um, if you're living in Ward 4, how about considering joining the Keith Park Neighborhood Association, which is a wonderful group that oversees the beautiful renovated park located at the corner of Plain Street and Main Street. Um, and in fact, they are going to be having an organizing meeting on Wednesday, January 9th at 6.30 um, at, the, at the First Evangelical Lutheran Church on Main Street. We know that in the spring months they will be having an Easter egg hunt, which is always a blast. Um, my kids and I usually work at it. Maybe you'd consider volunteering for Keith Park Neighborhood Association. Or um, another wonderful thing that you could do would be to uh, join a book club or to start a book club. If you live in an apartment or perhaps in the Campello High Rises, maybe you'd consider getting involved in your tenant organization um, and helping other people to keep in touch with your neighbors. On a citywide basis, Perhaps you get yourself to attend more cultural events, like a concert of the Brockton Symphony Orchestra, which there will be several, several over the next couple of months. 
like a play or a concert at Brockton High School, the most wonderful high school students presenting talented shows. Or perhaps you visit the Fuller Craft Museum where there's always something interesting and stimulating to have a look at. You could start going to the library, attending talks there or joining its book clubs. You could join an organization. Two that are very close to my heart are the Brockton Garden Club, which meets monthly on a Monday evening. And uh, let's see, their mission is to advance gardening and conservation and beautify Brockton. Wonderful mission. And they're going to be 90 years old this year. Um, it's a wonderful group. Their website is brocktongc.org. And in fact, you might want to consider doing something to help the Brockton Garden Club because on Monday, January 14th, uh, they're having a delicious fundraiser. If you go into the Cape Cod Cafe for supper or lunch or uh, pick up takeout there on that Monday, January 14th, and present a coupon when you go to pay for your food, 15% of the cost of your meal will be contributed to the Brockton Garden Club. So it's like a win-win. You get a nice meal out of it, delicious meal, and the Garden Club will make some funds or money that they can use to fund their activities which benefit all of the city of Brockton. Um, the other thing you might want to consider is volunteering in the thrift store or the food pantry of the Charity Guild located at 501 Main Street and that is a charity that is very close to my heart. This is my 20th year of being on its board of directors. It's just a great group that helps many Brockton residents. In closing on this topic, I just want to say, perhaps you'd consider being the change that you wish to see in the world. And this world and our country right now, there's uh, so much loud noise talking about things that are wrong with us. There's more right that is wrong than wrong. There always is. So I'm City Councilor Susan DeCastro. I represent Ward 4 on the Brockton City Council. My phone number is 508-894-1314. My email address is snacastro at cobma.us. Well, what's the city council been up to lately? Well, most recently, we chose a new president. Every year at our last meeting of the year, we choose from among our members a, a councilor to serve as president in the coming year. And this year, on November, I'm sorry, on December 27th, we elected councilor at large Moses Rodriguez to replace our outgoing president, who is Ward 3 Councilor Dennis Aniri. This is the first time Councilor Rodriguez has served as president. And I should tell you, we have high hopes that his leadership will encourage the city council to work together to best serve the city. So wish him luck if you should see him. Um, the city council continues to work on recreational marijuana ordinances. You know, our ordinance subcommittee met eight times over the past months to craft two ordinances to govern um, this new industry coming to our city. And we passed the first of these ordinances, which deals with licensing of marijuana um, stores and distri distributors and, and growers. We just passed it on December 27th. Pending in front of us still is the second ordinance, which will govern zoning. And I should tell you, um, I haven't heard from a lot of Ward 4 constituents about this, and I am interested to know what do Ward 4 residents think. My big issue with the zoning ordinance that is now pending are the buffer zones. And of course, a buffer zone is the distances from residences and schools that these stores um, may locate. And the current draft says 500 feet, which is roughly, if you're thinking about it, from the Arnone School to the left side of Main Street. Um, might take in some of the right side, too. That's about 500 feet. In our, our community is well settled, OK? We don't have a lot of vacant land. And, and we're also an old community. And as a result, I'm very concerned that perhaps that buffer zone should be more. But I'd like to know what Ward 4 residents think. So if you call me or you'd email me, I am interested to know what your thoughts are. And just to recap, if you weren't aware of it, the number of marijuana 
sales stores that we can have in the city is based on the number of liquor stores that we have. And in this case, that's eight. And two of those, we expect, will go to the current medical marijuana um, companies that are located on West Chestnut Street, which means that six recreational marijuana retail stores will be located in areas throughout our city. Okay, it will be six. So I, I want to make you all aware that the first Ward 4 meeting of 2019 will take place on Wednesday, January 30th from 6.30 until 8 o'clock, and it will be held at the Davis School on Plain Street in Ward 4. And my agenda for the meeting is all about my constituents. I'm going to recap 2018 in Ward 4 from my point of view as a city councilor, and then I'm going to ask my residents to help me craft a wish list of what our goals are and what we're interested in seeing happen in Ward 4 in the coming year. And if I'm on my game, I will bake a few cakes to serve to everyone who comes to the meeting. So please plan to join us on Wednesday, January 30th from 6.30 until 8 at the Davis School on Plain Street in Ward 4. So to close my first Facts on 4 of 2019, I want to thank all of my Ward 4 constituents who contacted me for help in the past year, who shared their troubles and their concerns with me and allowed me to help them try to alleviate them. Thank you. Um, I, want to I want to thank the members of the City Council and so many of the employees and department heads at City Hall who helped me do my job and who helped me learn so much about serving my Ward 4 constituents. Most especially, I want to thank Larry Rowley, who is the DPW superintendent, and James Caseri, the building department superintendent. Um, thank you for watching Facts on 4. Again, I'm Susan Nicastro, the Ward 4 City Councilor. You can call me at 508-894-1314, or you can email me at snicastro at cobma.us. Thank you very much.